Alright, so if you want to transfer your 360 Terraria world to the Xbox One edition, you're going to need two copies of the game, one for 360, one for Xbox One. I'm going to start off by opening up the copy on the 360. So once it loads, we're just going to hit start, choose our drive with all the games and saves on it, and we're just going to hit B to skip past this little loading thing. Hit play game, and then on the character screen, if you look at the bottom, there's a little button, upload, by pressing LT. So if you want to upload your character, this is where you do it. You just press LT, you go down to hit yes, and it will upload it to the cloud. Now you can only um, hold one character in this in the cloud at one time, so you want to download it on the Xbox One before you upload another character. This is the same for the worlds. So we're going to go into the character, and we're going to do the same for the worlds. So we're just going to highlight the one we want, press LT to upload it, and then go to yes, and it will uh, start the upload to the cloud. So yeah. Make sure you only do one of these at a time. Make sure you have to download it on the Xbox One before you can upload a second world. There is only space for one in the cloud at, at a time. So once we're on our Xbox, we're going to go to games and apps and we're going to find Terraria. It's probably at the bottom, so we're just going to search for it here. T-E-R-R-A-R-I-A. -R -R there it is. It's going to open. Alright, so now we're just going to hit A, choose the profile we're signed into, or the profile from our Xbox. You have to be on the same profile, of course, for this stuff to transfer over. So yeah, we're going to click on single player. We're going to go down to an empty space and then press right bumper. Download your previous gen player from the cloud, hit yes. Now theoretically, this could be used to duplicate items by having items in your inventory, downloading them, moving them somewhere else on a different world in here, and then downloading your old profile with those items again, which would be pretty pretty game-breaking in my opinion. But yeah, that's how you download the character. And then for the world, we go down to an empty space again, hit right bumper, and then yes. And my game crashed, so it looks like there's an issue with transferring some worlds, possibly. Hopefully it's just a bug in this update and it gets fixed pretty soon. Otherwise, yeah, it should just go through successfully and then you'll have your world on your Xbox One. So now we're going to go on to the Minecraft world transfer process. So this is basically the same kind of thing, except you don't have a character, you just have the world to transfer. So yeah, we're going to start off by opening up Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. Once it's loaded up, we're just going to hit play game and we're going to select the storage device that has our world on. So we're not going to touch the cloud save games at all. We're just going to go straight to the hard drive or the USB, whatever you're using, and get the world from there. Because you want the latest version of your world to be transferred over. You don't want an older version or something that's uh, broken. So yeah, we're just going to be doing my top world here. So if we look on the bottom of the screen, it's very faint, but you can just see it. If you press Y on one of the world, one of the worlds, it will um, bring up in a menu with save options. So let's just try it on this world. There we go, and if we go down, there's an option to upload the save from Xbox One. That's what we want to do here. And yeah, hit OK. Now it's completely normal for this to take a few minutes. It's very slow because it's on the 360, and the 360 isn't the most powerful console, obviously. The network is uh, very slow on the 360, it's not very good. So yeah, just let it sit for a few minutes, and it should finish. And it's nearly done. There we go, it's finished. That took about six minutes and it's a decently sized world, so it's fair enough. So yeah, once you've done that, just hit OK and we're going to move on to our Xbox One now. Just make sure you do only one world at a time, of course, because the cloud only has one save slot. So you've got to make sure you transfer it over to the Xbox One before you start doing another world. So to download your Minecraft worlds on the Xbox One itself, we're going to need to open the Minecraft Xbox One Edition. So if we go down to M, you'll see there's two versions here. There is the new updated Minecraft, which is what everyone mostly has today. And there is the old Minecraft Xbox One edition from 2018 and earlier before they discontinued it. Now this version, you cannot buy this anymore. It's not been sold in retail stores as new. It's not been, it's not even in the Microsoft store online. You can't buy it from the Xbox. It's not for sale. The only way to get this version is to find an old disc online or like used on ebay or something and install it from the disc because any new minecraft disc will be this version and you want this version to transfer your stuff so we're going to load into the xbox one edition 
Now it's going to hit play game. And you can just see at the bottom, it's kind of faded, but if you look, it says press X to retrieve the Xbox 360 save. So we're going to hit X and it's going to download the 360 world from the cloud. Now this should be much quicker than the upload was because the 360 has a much slower connection, like it has much slower networking hardware in it. So this should be able to get a better connection to the internet. And it's also downloading instead of uploading, which is generally quicker. And it's done. There we go. The world should now appear at the top of the list, I think. Yep. So you'll see that our world at the top says newest save version. And if we try and load it here, it's going to say this save is only compatible with Minecraft 2017. So what does that mean? Well, it means we can't play it on this version of Minecraft. We can't load it no matter what we do. It's not going to let us in. What we actually have to do is go onto the new version of Minecraft and then transfer the world from the Xbox One edition onto this version. So once we're in Minecraft Bedrock, we're just going to hit continue right here. Let it load, hit play. We're going to go down to the bottom of the world screen. Hit sync old worlds. It will just take a second to fetch all these, all these worlds from the old version. And there we go, there's our world we just transferred, it's got the correct date on it. We click on this and it's going to convert it to Minecraft Bedrock. Now the reason we have to do this and we, the reason we can't play it on the old version is because the 360 edition has update aquatic and the Xbox One edition doesn't. So the 360 version is newer, it has more features and more blocks and stuff than the Xbox One edition does. And those aren't compatible with the Xbox One edition. So. That's why it has to transfer to this new version. There we go, conversion complete. Do you want to play your world now? Sure, let's see if it loads up. Oh, we're in the world. All right, where are we? Oh, we're at the jungle. All right. So yeah, that's the... Uh, that's the process to transfer your world over to Xbox One. Now, of course, you can do this for all your other worlds. You just have to do them one at a time. So now that we've done this one, we could do the next world and then transfer that to the Xbox One. And then we could do the next world and go on and on after that. So yeah, that's how you do it. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully I helped you out and uh, you managed to get one of your saves over to the new Xbox One. And yeah. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're into that. Or use my creator code if you're really into that. And I'll see you in the next video.